A water polishing filter is an awesome addition to any tank to get you to the next level of water clarity. This tank right here is looking terrible right now, but by the end of this video, you'll see what a difference a polishing filter makes. And not just any polishing filter. Using this tactic together with an awesome filter like the Seachem Title is just going to put you over the top. And the reason why we're specifically using this filter in this video is because Seachem and I will be doing an awesome free giveaway at the end of this video. Hmm, I wonder what we might be giving away. I know you know about the title, right? Possibly the best hang on back filter on the market. You know what? Scratch that. It's the best HOB filter in the market. And if you've never heard of the title series HOBs from Seachem and CJ, then you've been missing out. Luckily you're here though, and you guys know I'd never leave you hanging. Unless you're new here, then you wouldn't know. In that case, my name is Kev from CavemanAquatics.com, and on this channel, you'll find tips, advice, and love for aquariums if you don't already have it. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any new content. Now, while this won't be a complete review on the title, since there's tons and tons of videos out there detailing how awesome this filter is, and I'm sure most of you already know this, so instead, I'm just gonna highlight some specific areas that make this filter the best in the game. But I'm also gonna hook this filter up to this 150 gallon American Cichlid tank right here and show you how to modify it to be used as an awesome polishing filter. So what's a polishing filter? It's an additional filter that you supplement your main filtration with, meaning a second filter for the purpose of making your water crystal clear while being able to easily and quickly maintain it. Don't worry, we'll get into that later on in the video. If you wanna jump to that right away, check the timestamp in the description below, but I may be dropping some nuggets here that you don't know about the title yet, so I suggest you ride with me. So what sets this HOB apart from the rest? It's the entire design as a whole. Seachem together with CJ just understand common fish keepers and what we need in a filter. It's easy to set up, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. It's easy to clean and maintain, it's super quiet, and best thing of all, it's self-priming. Guys, that's huge. What does that even mean? It means that after you set it up on your tank, all you gotta do is plug it in and it works. Not only that, but if there's ever a power outage for whatever reason, this filter will turn on and provide filtration without you having to do a thing. The reason is because of how the pump on this filter was designed. Most competing HOBs have their pumps on the back of the filter which sit outside of the tank. This is a major flaw because in order for the filter to start running, you have to fill it up with water first. Well, what happens when the power goes out while you're asleep or at work? Yeah, you guessed it. Some of you have even experienced it the filter will not restart on its own. It'll remain off until you or somebody else fills it up with water again. And it's especially no bueno if nobody notices that the power went out, like if nobody was home when it happened. Seachem and CJ eliminate this huge flaw by placing the pump on the front of the filter, which keeps it submerged in the water all the time. This means that after a power outage, or even the first time startup, it can self-prime. It will fill the basket with water and run on its own, every time without fail. Seachem even offers a three year warranty against defects of material and workmanship. Bet you didn't know that one. I told you I was gonna drop some nuggets. This is by far the number one reason why the title is king. But there are other super cool features included that just run up the score when it doesn't even have to. It's got a surface skimmer guys. This pulls water into it at the surface as well as the filter intake. So if you got any dust or debris that accumulates at your surface, this skimmer handles that like a pro. And guess what? You can adjust how much water comes in from the skimmer and from the intake tube. Along with that adjustment is also the standard adjustment for output water flow, which all HOB should have. If yours doesn't, it's time to upgrade. Get one of these. It's also designed for bottom to top water travel, which ensures that water goes through all of your media, and it's a far better design than those back to front water flow HOBs. It doesn't use replaceable cartridges, which suck for many reasons. We won't get into that in this video because I go in hard over here. It's got a heater holder attachment so you can mount your heater up close to the intake, which is always ideal. It's got a maintenance notification button, which pops up to notify you when the filter's clogged and needs maintenance. The internal media basket is huge and completely removable for the easiest maintenance around. And check this out. The basket connects to the lid so you can take the basket from your tank to your sink or wherever without dripping water all over the floor. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm telling you, Seachem thought of everything. All super cool features included on the title series. And no, you don't have to go this big with a 110. The Seachem title comes in four sizes for your respective tank size. 
comes in the title 35, the 55, the 75, and 110, and they're named that way for a reason. The numbers tell you what size tank it's recommended for. Title 35 is good for up to 35 gallons. Title 75 is good for up to 75 gallons, and so on. Super simple, right? But with any manufacturer's recommendations, you have to remember that they don't know what's in our tanks. They don't know what kind of fish we're keeping, or how many, or how big. If you've got big fish or an overstock tank, like my 210 back over here, you'll want to overfiltrate. In the case of an overstock African cichlid tank, you'll want to double up for sure. Which leads me now into using the title HOB of your choice as a polishing filter. But why use a polishing filter? Well, polishing media in any filter needs to be replaced often. Getting into your filter every month or so just to replace the polishing media is gonna disturb your filtration more than it needs to be disturbed. This is where having a separate supplemental polishing filter comes in handy. Keep your primary filter set up as normal and use the separate polishing filter for all your fine and chemical media that needs to be replaced the most often, leaving your primary intact and undisturbed for longer. So now, why the title? Well, because the basket in the title is so huge, you can really pack this thing in with tons of mechanical media, which is gonna grab and trap all the tiny particles in your water, making it super slick and clear. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Plus, the flow rate that you get from these Tidal HOBs, the 110 gives you 450 gallons per hour. That's gonna increase your turnover in your tank, which is gonna polish your water that much more. So first off, we always wanna include the thick coarse sponge that comes with the title. This is gonna trap the bigger particles, which is gonna help in not clogging up your fine media so fast. Next part is simple. Grab some fine mechanical media of your choice. For an HOB, I prefer polyfill because it's the cheapest and one of the easiest to install and replace. All you gotta do is grab a handful of it and stuff it down into the basket. Put enough to fill the basket, but not so much that it pushes the top off the filter. You could also use fine filter pads, but then you'd have to cut them to size each time you replace them to fit in the basket properly. For me, grabbing a handful of polyfill is just a no-brainer. For an additional boost to your polishing filter, throw in a bag of Seachem Purigen, which is gonna absorb all the dissolved organics in the water. Dissolved organics cause heterotrophic bacteria to grow in your tank, which are big, ugly, cloud-causing bacteria that we don't want. Those are the guys that make your water look milky and ugly. So by absorbing those organics, you prevent them from growing, giving you another level of clarity. Now you're all set to install your basket and plug your filter in, and it's ready to go. Let me show you how easy I'm gonna install this. I'm just gonna pull my glass forward out of the way. I'm gonna move my light a little bit to the front of the tank. This opening is enough space to get this filter right in there. I'm gonna grab the plug and just throw it behind the tank. Let it drop back there. Sit the filter right in there. Perfectly. Bam, look at that guys. It's in a perfect spot, and I left the top open so that you guys can see that the moment I plug it in, that thing's gonna fill up with water all by itself, and the filter's gonna get going. Okay, here comes the power. Check it out. I hear it working. Whoa. Pushing the polyfill up already because it's filling with water. Gotta let that polyfill soak so it can stay down. And there it goes. Look at that puppy fill up and start working on its own. Push the polyfill down, let it soak. Now it'll stay down. There it is, working on its own. Your surface skimmer right here, guys. Check it out. It's already, you can see the water that's pulling towards the surface skimmer. The water's going in right through here. King HOB, guys, I told you. I promise, with this setup, you'll see improvements in your clarity overnight. Keep in mind though, that this polishing filter will need maintenance more often than your primary filter, but that's okay, because it's super easy to pull the basket out, toss the polyfill and purigen, and replace it with new media and reset. So let's say that the blue button popped up and it's cleaning time. How easy is this to clean? Take your top off, flip it upside down. We're gonna put it right over here for now, because we're gonna use it. Unlock with this blue little knob here, push it to the back and it unlocks. And then, pull the trays right up. Now you see all that drippage? You don't want to walk to your sink with water dripping like that. Get most of it out of there. Pop it right on top of your tray. I'm trying to do this on, on camera for you guys. Now you can carry it 
right over to your sink without water dripping. The water is going to collect in the top of the tray. By the time you get to your sink, most of the water will be right on top and secure. See all that water? That would have dripped all over your floor, but right now it's in my tray. Cool little feature. So you grab your purigen, you grab your polyfill, you just take it all right out of there, dump it, put in some new polyfill, put in a new bag of purigen, stick the tray right back in. Lock this little blue button back so that it keeps the trays down inside the basket. Pop your cover back on. Boom. Filter cleaned. Now what you could do with this purigen, because I'm already seeing that most of it is not getting wet because it's just bypassing from under it. Take your purigen bag, stuff it down in between the polyfill somewhere. Doesn't matter if it gets there before or after, as long as it's down in the basket. You could even wrap the purigen with your polyfill. That's cool too, because it'll force water through it. There you go. If you don't see improvements in your water clarity, it's because you've got a whole other problem going on in your tank that filtration alone can't fix. But don't worry. They're most likely very common problems that most beginners go through. I've got your solution for that too. The second edition of my bestseller now comes in ebook and paperback and is guaranteed to give you crystal clear water or your money back. So check it out. Link in the description. Okay, it's giveaway time. You guys ready? Did you guess what we're giving away yet? I'm sure you guys guessed it. CKM and I are giving away a Title 110 or a 75 or a 55 or a 35. You get to choose which model you like depending on your tank size. And we're also throwing in a bottle of Prime, a bottle of Stability, and a bag of Purigen because we figure that you're probably setting up a brand new tank and you might want to set up the polishing filter like I just showed you guys. So what do you guys think about this ambassadorship so far? I think it's going pretty good. What do you think? Here's what we got to do to enter the contest. Four simple things. Let's go. Number one, very obvious. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Even though I can't tell if you hit the like button or not, but hey, I trust you. So do it. Number two, go over to Seachem's channel and subscribe to their channel. They don't have a lot of content right now, but they plan to update it very, very soon. Number three, go check out Seachem's Instagram page. Follow them on Instagram. And finally, number four, go check out my Instagram page. Follow me on Instagram. And tag one person that needs a little bit of aquarium love in their life and that might be interested in entering this contest as well. You guys know we got to share this hobby as much as we can. Now don't worry, all the instructions and the links are down in the description below. Good luck to everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.